When a brewery brings out a beer to celebrate a 150th anniversary, that beer better be good. And from the Duval Mockat Brewery in Belgium, we have a bottle of the new Duval 666 coming in at 6.66% ABV. Now this bottle's special because this beer celebrates 150 years of the Duval Mortgat Brewery. They first started out in 1871. And this is the beer they have specially released to celebrate that fact. Um, what they wanted to do, apparently, um, they wanted to brew a beer that highlighted the, the the daring and the youthfulness and the spirit of their um, Duvalish um, team, the team that was responsible for Duval. Um, so uh, they thought they'd, they'd, they'd go between sort of basically um, the, the the Belgium's rich brewing heritage and the sort of an, a, a contemporary innovation. Now, there will be a follow-up video on this. Before, I'm going to say that now before we even start. Because I don't know if a lot of you can remember, last year, Duval brought out a, a beer with um, Brewery, Brewery Eye from the Netherlands, and it was called 666. And... I've heard a few rumours through Belgian people that they reckon this could be a very, very similar or even the same beer rebottled. But we'll visit that in a different video, okay? Um, I haven't tasted this yet. Do you know what? It's taken me ages to get hold of a bottle, actually. It's been a nightmare. Um, I was going to get some bottles sent over to me, or they were being sent over to me, um, a, a, a couple of months back when they first released this beer in Belgium and they got nabbed by Belgium border control Belgium border control you horrible people you stole my beer you wouldn't let it over because of Brexit you stole my beer so uh, just thought I'd like to get that out there so without further ado let's crack this open let's get it in a glass and to, for a beer like this, we've got to go with a worthy glass, and this is a 1972 Duval glass. Yes, 1972, the year I was born. So let's crack this open. If you notice, we've got a Duval bottle opener. Got a bit Duval mad. So let's get this into a glass. This is a beer you want to sort of try to vigorously pour. We'll let that settle a bit. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this beer. I'll right, just let that settle a bit and get the, the, the final uh, knockings in. All right, so apparently um, they use six hop varieties in this beer. Um, notably the Styrian Golden and the Saz but they won't disclose what others. Um, which is a bit annoying really, but um, we can probably, um, might better guess a couple, we might be able to. Um, now, uh, they also dry hop this. So, yeah, I'm expecting, I'm expecting a really, really good beer here. Um, and an interesting beer. Let's so get some, some more in. Famous swirl. I'll get the aroma while you wait for that last bit. Oh, 
Oh, it's very fruity. Fruity, citrusy. It's bubble gum there. Um, I mean bubble gum. It's that bubble gum like you used to get with your football cards. Who remembers the football cards years ago? That little strip of bubble gum with a piece of um, some powder on it in it to stop it sticking to the um, to, to your cards. Ah. Oh. There's some pepper, um, some spice there. Definitely you get some coriander. I can smell the coriander in this. There you go, get the last knockings in. Look at that, that's a perfect poured beer. Um, oh. Fruits, citrus, pepper. Coriander, and it's just like this bubble gum there. Definitely that bubble gum. It smells divine. So look, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Very bitter. It's young, it's fresh. There's a little bit of sort of Duval, if any of you have ever had Duval Green, there's a little bit of Duval Green to this, this young, fresh, sort of vibe to this beer. It is spicy. The jury's out on this, to be honest. There's some malts there, it's hoppy. It feels young. There's a, a sort of tartness to this beer. It's lacking some smoothness. It's like it needs to be matured. I've got to stick it against the other Duval 666 that they brewed with a uh, brewery eye. I've got to stick them both side by side. Um, the jury's out with me on this it really is um, I I would have thought um, Duval you would have done something better 
for your 150th anniversary myself I think you've sort of you know you can't use the excuse of the quality of the hops and stuff like that because you've, you've obviously got hops in abundance because you've used six varieties in this beer I just feel that I think you could have done better I think you you could have done better really do um, nothing wrong with the beer people are going to like this beer people are going to buy this beer you're going to sell out of this beer you know it's it's the 150 verse, uh, anniversary beer you know people are going to buy, buy this in their crate loads just because it's the 150th anniversary so you'll complete your you'll complete your sales task of selling all this you won't have a problem with that I just think you could have done something better. It's a great beer. It's never going to win any awards. Just, I, I was just expecting something better. With all the hype that has gone around this beer. I was expecting something, just expecting something better. Um, I think it's just, it's, it's just disappointed me really. I'm just looking and thinking to myself, you know, it's got, it's got that Duval Green-esque to it. Um, it's, it's like a young, like a young Duval. It's got a sharpness to it. Um, it's refreshing. Uh, it's, in my opinion, it's never going to win any awards. It's refreshing, it's spicy, it's hoppy. Um, it's clean, it's crisp. <laughs> I just think there's better um, blondes at around this ABV, to be honest. You know, if if someone said to me, and I'm going to be honest here, right, if uh, 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 Duval, Duval, um, what's, what's Duval Green's about 7%, I do believe, right? If someone said to me, I mean, I'm in a, in a beer cafe in Belgium, and they say to me, what would you rather have? Um, would you rather have a, um, a Duval 666 or a Duval Green? I'm going to say a Duval Green. You know, that's, that's how honest I am going to be with you now. Um, it's... It's just disappoint me a little bit. It's great. Look, it, look, it's a great beer. You are going to love this beer. But Belgian beer is, is is a passion of mine, and I'm afraid it, I was expect I was expecting something better, something better. Maybe I've put my expectations too high. I don't know. I'm still drinking it all the same, you know, and I will drink it, and I've got another half a dozen bottles of it, and I'll, I'll drink them as well. But... Sad, I was just expecting something better. So look! Get hold of a bottle of this, because it's just entered the UK. Get hold of a bottle, try it, see what you think, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.